Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how you can easily configure the integration between Doho Forms and Google Sheets for free and without coding. I'll do it using the Epiway service. Epiway is a free integration platform where you can find appropriate software and integrate it with each other without any coding. Just make a few clicks. Epiway charges money from software vendors and promotes them in the software marketplace. That's why it is totally free and has no time limits for end users. Now let's move on to the integration. I've made a small quiz in advance using the Doho Forms service. As you can see, here I have three fields – name, phone number and email. Also, I've made a sheet in the Google. In the first row you can see the same fields. Now let's go to the Epiway. First you need to sign up. After you've done this, go to the tab Apps and add Zoho Forms and Google Sheets. Then go to the My Apps. Now you should connect them to your accounts. If you click on the Zoho, you will see that it is already connected. Now let's connect Google Sheets. Click the button Plug, then sign in with Google. On this page, you should choose which account you want to connect. And next, click the button Allow. It returns you to Epiway and you will see the green text. Now Google is successfully connected. So we can start to configure the integration. Click Create a way. You can give it the name which you want. For example, Zoho Forms and Google Sheets. It will be easier to find it later. Here you should specify the trigger. In our case, it's Zoho Forms. Here select Form Completed. And here you can see the link. If you try to go through this link, it won't work. It is only an address to which the data will be sent. Receiving data to this link will be the trigger. You should copy it. Now I return to the Zoho Forms and in the tab Integration find Webhooks. Different services may have this in different places. If you can't find it by yourself, you can ask the technical support. You should paste the link here. And here you should give the names to the form fields. Check the webhook status, it must be enabled, and click Save. Next, go to the Epiway and click Update Available Fields. Now you have 3 minutes to complete the form. It will be the test data which will teach the service to receive the information. I go to my quiz and complete it. Then I return to Epiway again, and you can see that fields that we named previously have appeared here. They vary in different services. Now let's set up an action. In the field Choose a service, choose Google Sheets. If you connect it all correctly, you will see it here. Here choose Create Spreadsheet Row. It means when you get a new data, the system will fill in the rows in the sheets with information. Then test the connection and after that click Update Available Fields. First select the spreadsheet that you need. Then select Worksheet. Here you can have a lot of worksheets, but you have to choose that one in which you want to add information. For me it will be sheet number 1. And the service shows you fields which you have here in your sheet. Click the plus sign for name and choose what you need here. Name for name, email for email and so on. Then click test and activate. If you want to edit it, you should find it in the tab My Ways, deactivate it and change everything you need. But don't forget to activate it again. Now I will complete the quiz one more time to check that everything works.
Now I'll go to the Google Sheets. Transmission of the data may take a little time. Sometimes it appears immediately, sometimes you have to wait for a while. The time of waiting is up to 15 minutes. And you can see that the information is here. Name, email, phone number. In such way, data will appear in rows below filling in the sheet. In this way, you can easily make integration and automate your work. And of course, don't forget to go to the Anyway website, look through the categories, choose appropriate software for you and make your business process better.